Welcome back to Biggs Golf Talk here on the Lake County Sports Network on Stitcher Radio and on the Full Gamut Radio Network. Our website, www.biggsgolftalk.com, B-I-G-G-S, golftalk.com. And on the social networking sites, you can follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Golf Ball, Golf Waggle, and golfpigeon.com. Make sure you visit golfbald.com as sometimes we have contests on there and uh, we will give away something, especially on that site. That site is really a great information site for all golfers. Joining me now, our last guest of the day here, and I'll tell you what, it's like a business card for me on the golf course. This is called the TESOL. And last year, we had Steve Squelanti. He is the CEO and founder of the TESOL. And the TESOL is pretty much a T and a pencil all in one. And let me tell you something has come in handy. I've even given these out at golf outings as well when I hosted golf outings and MC golf outings, and I give them to every single golfer out there. And it comes in handy, especially on those closest to the pin and those long drive contest pins. You have a T in your pocket, well, you have a pencil as well because that's what the TESOL is all about. And joining me now to talk about what is happening and the improvements and the growth of the TESOL, he is the CEO and founder, Steve Squilanti. Steve What's happening, my friend? Hey, Big John. Thanks for having me on. I, I truly appreciate this. Well, you know, last time we talked, I didn't have a TESOL in my hand, and then you, I was fortunate enough to get a bunch of them with my name on it and the show name on it and information and website on it, and it's personalized and customized. And it, it's really acting as a business card for me when I'm finding on a golf course because I carry about 100 of these things in my golf bag. And, you know, any potential clients or anybody that, that I think might benefit from the TESOL, I hand one to them, and they wow, I'm never going to forget where your show is now because I have your website right in my golf bag. You know, do you find that reaction all over the place when people get these things and they get them customized with company names on them and company websites on them? Yes, it's actually, it's just because it's so unique. And a lot of times when I go to trade shows or if I have a business that orders them, you know, like you did with your name, your logo right on them, they start giving them out and people are like, oh, another golf tee. You know, I have a million of these. And then next thing you know, they're like, oh, there's a pencil here, too. I've never seen this before. And you get, like, a great reaction, and you get a laugh, and, you know, people really just say, wow, this is a unique item. Like, I haven't seen this before. And, um, you know, a lot of people, actually, that I've given one to in the past, they keep it. They show friends. They keep it on their desk at work. So it really benefits someone, you know, that puts a name or a logo on it because they, they don't want to use it because they don't want to break it. They almost want to show it around, you know, especially the people that haven't seen it before, really. You know, the unique factor, really, you know, is a big driving force behind this. <laughs> now, sometimes it, it does take a while for them to figure out what it is. They just think it's a T, and you just hand them a T with your name on it, and I say, oh, look at the bottom of it. But And then you get that chuckle reaction like you just mentioned. And, yep. But after a while, they're like, this thing comes in handy. Yeah, it's, it's actually funny. The amount of times, you know, I've given it out, and people might at first say, oh, this is gimmicky. I'm going to break it teeing off. And then next thing you know, I'll get an email back or a call back and say, oh, you won't believe this. I was driving the golf cart and my pencil fell out. And then I remembered yeah. I have a pack of Tesla's in my golf bag. Or, you know, now I'm reaching in my pocket. I have both. You know, I'm not grabbing my pencil and I need my tea or vice versa. And they go, I, I didn't really realize the functionality before I started using them. And, you know, everyone has their preference on, you know, what golf tee they use, you know, what golf ball they use. But as people start, you know, actually trying them out, I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of more positive responses than, you know, people actually using them in the golf as well as, you know, for the tournaments or for the businesses, getting them customized for that, you know, wow factor, that unique factor is really, you know, really helping, you know, business, you know, keep growing. Hey, you know what? Not only that, but what a great idea for golf courses itself. I mean, what a way to take that, take those pencils out of their, uh, out of those scorecards and, and, and package an idea of a package of five or a package of ten of of tees with the golf course name on it, and it's a pencil. It's just a, such a great idea because not only do you customize it, but you will also package it as well with their logo. Yes, we actually – this is one of the things we've started um, that was different from the last time I talked to you. In the past, all you could do was get you know the tee so with your name or your logo on it, and it would just come to you in bulk. Now what we have is we have custom packaging. So as you said, bags of five or ten, 
with a you know your logo on the package as well on the top of it on a custom topper. And then we also are, are into the matchbooks now, which we are finding you know businesses. They put all their information on the matchbook, and then they still can put their information on the TESOL. So they're handing someone, basically, like you said, it's, it's almost just a different way to hand a business card. You know, it's a unique way to hand a business card out, and um, it's, just, it's, you know, it's just different. Everyone's looking for something different, and if you haven't seen them before, you really get a great reaction for the, to the, uh, from the person that you're giving them to. Well, the matchbook allows you to put more information, such as a phone number, or, you know, uh, maybe a small address, or some other type of information besides uh, what you could fit on the TESOL. Because in all reality, it is a T, so you could only fit maybe two or three lines on it itself, and then the rest of it, you really like mine. I have it, you know, kind of taped to my my business card, and and I have it, you know, on the back of the business card, and I hand them that and the business card, and usually you you'll see them. Uh, yeah, so what, the business card? Oh, look at this. I got a TESOL. It's got your name on it, got your website added on it. That's all I need. And, you know, and they put that in their golf bag, and, you know, you never know. They, they pull it out, and they say, oh, wow, Big's Golf Talk. That's right. He's going to be on today. Let me tune in right now on, you know, on, on a tune-in right. app or something like that or on Stitcher Radio. And uh, But you know what? You have come a long way, Steve, and you have partnered up with a few golf companies, one of them being we're going to have them on the program next week. Oh, okay. Three Up Golf. Yes. Talk about these partnerships and how important it is to your growth of the TESOL. Oh, uh, Rob from Three Up has just been amazing in, in my growth. Uh, I'm from Massachusetts, and he's from New Hampshire, so you know we're you know very close. And um, you know he he was nice enough to include me in his newsletter at first, and then I finally got to meet him this year at the Boston Golf Expo. And, you know, since then, he's just been so supportive, you know, lending me tips, giving me, you know, stuff he's learned along the way, bouncing ideas around. And what he did now is anytime you buy a dozen of the three-up golf balls, he includes one TESOL, one branded three-up TESOL right in that bag. And it's just been great for me because, you know, you, you might go online and you're not necessarily looking to buy, you know, golf tees. You might just be getting them at, you know, your pro shop or, you know, a local store. But now when you're buying your dozen three-up golf balls, you're actually getting the TESOL, and it's letting different people see it that I'd have no access to. And that, that has just been, you know, absolutely instrumental in my growth. And, you know, I, I thank him all the time, and he has a great family business just like us. Yep. And, you know, that's, that's, you know, someone I was just so pleased to partner with. We, you know, we get lunch every couple months together, and it's just, you know, it's just great to have someone in your corner like him, especially, you know, you know, I'm all about the family, small business, and, you know, having a golf ball company that's exactly the same, you know, supporting me is just, it's huge. You know, it's, you know, you really need people to give you a break to help you succeed, and, you know, 3Up's been doing that for me, so, you know, I give them all the thanks in the world. <laughs> well, not only that, but you're doing that for 3Up, so it's an exchange, and it's about growing golf and growing the game, and that's what, you know, that's what Big's Golf Talk is all about. It's about growing golf and making sure that people are going to have fun and, and really optimize their golf game to the fullest and, and just have fun doing it, and and it's companies like the TESOL, it's the companies like 3UP Golf, and it's companies like Snap Hooks Accessory Hanger, and, you know, it's companies like that, Second Guy Golf. You know, these small companies that are growing the game and giving back to the game, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's a T, so you really don't think you're getting rich off of this. It's about, right. it's about giving the golfer something different and something unique. And that, that's really, you know... When I started out, I know, you know, I'm selling a golf tee that's a pencil. You're not, I'm not going to turn this into a huge business like a tight list. But I'm having fun doing it. Yep. I love doing it. I love golf. It's my passion. You know, I wouldn't want to do anything else. You know, this is, you know, my baby, if you will. And I'm, you know, I want to grow it as big as I possibly can. And, you know, hopefully be able to make a, a little bit of a living off of it. And that way I can just continue doing it year, year to year. What's the turnaround on the personalization? Right now it's about three weeks. We can actually, if you did have a tournament, say that was in a week or a week and a half, we can do things to get it to you in time. Um, I usually just say three weeks. That, that way if someone calls me as a tournament in a week, you know, I can just move things around. But um, three weeks is the absolute longest you'd have to wait, but we, we work with you to get it to you in, your hand, in the hand state. Not, it's not a problem. Steve Squalante, finally, how can people find out more information and get more ideas regarding the TESOL? Uh, our website, it's www.tesel.com. Uh, it's T-E-E-C-I-L.com. And if you click our products page, it has all the different packaging options. And it also has pictures of past customized orders we've done. So you can kind of check it out and get an idea for the product and a feel for the product. And uh, the website's pretty easy to navigate. And um, 
yeah, that would be the best way to find out more about the product. And I'll tell you what, right now, if I get an email at Biggs Golf Talk, B I G G S Golf Talk at gmail.com, I'm going to send 10 listeners, the first 10 emails, the email me say, I want TESO. If you just put that in the subject line, I want TESO, I'm going to send each person a five pack of TESOs with Biggs Golf Talk on it, and you can experience what the TESOs all about. Steve, thank you so much for joining us here on Biggs Golf Talk, my friend. Thank you, John. I really appreciate all the support you've given me. All right, my friend. We'll talk soon. All right, bye-bye.